Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Backyard Football 2006. I need to play this game more often on this channel. All I've done with it so far are these Super Bowl simulations, which are really fun. And if you have not watched my most recent Super Bowl simulation, please go do that. Super Bowl 56 Bengals versus Rams. I'm officially one and one. One win, one loss on the Super Bowl simulations. The simulation was way off this year. In the first year I did it, Super Bowl 55 Chiefs versus Buccaneers. It did correctly predict that the Buccaneers would win although in a much closer game but then this year it predicted that the Bengals would blow out the Rams and that is obviously not what happened but regardless it was a very fun video and I suggest you go check that out but lately I've just been thinking of some fun one-off video ideas and little challenges I can do in this game so today we're going to be playing with an all quarterback team of course we got to be a custom team the passing pirates that's just a perfect name for a team of all quarterbacks we're going to be running the west coast offense now there are six pro quarterbacks in this game they are tom brady Peyton Manning, Matt Hasselbeck, Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and Dante Culpepper, the last of whom was the cover athlete. And this is seven on seven football in this game. So we're gonna have to fill in the uh, roster with one other additional person. I think it's Tony Del Vecchio. If you have not played this game before, Tony Del Vecchio is literally the best backyard kid. We're gonna have this on uh, Big Wood Park at night. This is a fun field. I wish there were more fields in this game. There really aren't that many. We're gonna have three minute quarters and we're gonna set it, of course, to hard difficulty and the cpu will definitely kick your butt in this game if you're not careful this is this is definitely one of the hardest backyard sports games i've ever played i think this is at the hardest end and then at the low end of difficulty is definitely the backyard basketball games those are so easy but i'm probably gonna have tony del Vecchio as my only non-pro quarterback player because tony del Vecchio is probably the best quarterback in this game he can play anywhere i mean i'll just show you really quick his ratings are absolutely insane he is almost maxed out of passing he's maxed out of blocking defense almost maxed out at tackling so he is crazy we are going to have him on the team though we're probably just going to put him on the offensive line or something like that so here are tom brady's ratings as you can see they made him a little bit overpowered in this game he is super overpowered the cpu will usually pick him when you're playing a pickup game and if these if the cpu has tom brady on their team there's actually a 50 50 chance that they will beat you he is way too fast in this game and he's a beast on defense too they gave him seven Seven out of 10 on defense and 8 of 10 at tackling. Tom Brady is actually one of the best all-around players in this game, crazy enough. Then we've got Peyton Manning, who's also very good at defense. Look, they gave him 9 out of 10 for both defense and tackling. The ratings for, you know, 7-on-7 seven seven football are just so funny. Then we've got Matt Hasselbeck, who's kind of nerfed. I mean, aside from passing, there's really nothing you can do with him, but he's a pretty solid quarterback. He just really can't do much else. Then, of course, you got Michael Vick, who is a beast at rushing and at passing. He's really a, he's really a pretty solid option in mobile quarterback, although weirdly, because of his rushing ratings if you pick him the cpu will almost always put him at running back or wide receiver of course he is probably going to be the running back for this particular team since he's by far the fastest quarterback then we've got donovan McNabb, philadelphia eagles legend solid at passing and decent speed as well a pretty strong option on defense we're probably gonna have him playing wide receiver in this game then we've got dante culpepper probably the best defensive ratings of any quarterback also someone who's probably a better wide receiver or running back in this game than he is at quarterback only a 7 of 10 passing rating. When he was in his prime, Dante Culpepper had a really good arm. I'm surprised they gave him such a low passer rating, but he is the seventh player on the team. And with that, let's get into this game. Passing Pirates versus, I think we're playing uh, the New York Jets. Yeah, the New York Jets. This is going to be a fun game. Let's set this lineup. All right, so Peyton is going to be quarterback. We're, of course, going to have Tony Davecchio blocking. Uh, I think he's got a bit of a boost today because, look, he's, he's maxed out at blocking defense and tackling. We're going to have Michael Vick at running back Dante and Donovan as wide receivers, and then uh, Tom Brady and Matt Hasselbeck also on the line. We're gonna have Michael Vick, Tony Del Vecchio, and Donovan McNabb as our defensive backs, Tom Brady at linebacker, and then on the defensive line, we're gonna have Hasselbeck, uh, Manning, and Culpepper. So we're gonna receive first, man. All quarterback team, this could be interesting. We're going to have, let's see, who is this? This is uh, Michael Vick returning the kick, and we are going to lean a lot on Michael Vick. He's going to be doing a lot of catching and a lot of rushing. Let's see what we can do, though, man. For starters, let's try a, a little bit of a toss. Manning to Vick, and uh, while he doesn't really get any good blocking, that's going to be Torrey Holt and Dante. Almost said Dante Culpepper. Dante Robinson chasing him down just a gain of four. Let's try a little bit of a short pass here. Michael Vick in the flats. He catches that. Give me a block, Donovan. That's not really a good block, but that is a first down. Now let's air it out a bit. Oh, we're going to have 
Donovan McNabb wide open already on the corner route. Nobody's covering him. Please don't let that be out of bounds. That was a horrible catch anyway, but it probably would have been out of bounds. That was a horrible drop. It probably would have been out of bounds anyway. All right, if you play this game, you know that out routes are totally broken. Dante Culpepper wide open. Tory Holt is going to have to chase him down, but that is a big first down. Yeah, corner routes and out routes are totally broken in this game. It's not even worth throwing it across the middle because the CPU is so good at picking off uh, your passes. We're going to throw this out route again. Dante Culpepper wide open, keeps it in bounds, breaks a tackle, and that is going to be a touchdown on the first drive. Peyton Manning to Dante Culpepper. Great catch and run from Dante. We're up just like that. Let's watch this replay. Dante staying in bounds. Might have got a nice no call from the ref there. He was probably out of bounds, but he breaks that tackle. That's going to be six points for the quarterbacks. Tom Brady is our kicker. Not a whole lot of power, actually, but it's through the uprights. Not trying to kick a lot of field goals in this game, obviously. Now, I am a little bit worried with how this team will do on defense. They got some great players on their team. Luanne Louis is the best running back in this game. She is so fast. Of course, they got Dante Robinson, one of the best all-around athletes in this game. They got Jocinda Smith and Tori Holt, probably the best pro wide receiver in this game. So we got our work cut out for us, for sure, no doubt. Dante Robinson has all the time in the world, but that is Tom Brady and Peyton Manning with the pressure. Nice job getting to him. He's going to throw this in the flat to Luann, and she drops it. So we get a three and out from the Jets, and they're going to be punting it right back to us. Good start on defense. For some reason, we've got Matt Hasselbeck returning punts. Oh, man, he's probably the slowest player on the team. Why is he returning punts? Not a horrible return, actually. We're going to have good field position to start off the second drive. Michael Vick, not super open in the flats, and that's just going to be a gain of two or three. Handoff left to Vick. Can he get some space? Not a whole ton of blocking, man. The run blocking is not that great in this game. Only a gain of about five. You know what time it is. Scrambling with Peyton Manning. Look at all the space we've got. Peyton Manning, mobile Peyton Manning on the quarterback draw. No, that, that's out of bounds. That has to be out of bounds. No way. Okay, I'm not letting Annie Frazier score a touchdown. No way. Where's my nearest player? Dude. Oh my gosh, thank God. <laughs> Michael Vick <laughs> tracks her down. I am not about to let Annie Frazier get a fumble return touchdown. That's some cheese. The CPU makes you fumble a lot. Good stop right there. We've got some pretty good run defense so far, actually, which is good because Luan Louis is hard to contain. Eventually... You understand how to read the CPU's plays, but Dante Robinson breaking some tackles, even though I read that perfectly. He is breaking like three tackles on that play. Should have happened behind the line, but that is going to be a first down for the Jets. Covering Luan with our user, but that's going to be in the end zone, and Jocinda drops it. She beat Donovan McNabb, and that is a choke from Jocinda. All right, Luan is out to the left. Dante is going to scramble, and man, he gets a first down. He is so dangerous at quarterback. He can throw and he can scramble. One of the fastest players in this game. All right, another quarterback draw. I see this one coming, and that is, I think, Dante. Great. I mean, sorry, that is Donovan McNabb stopping him. Can I get this goal line stand? Covering Luan, and that is... Oh, he uses the Vapor's power up, but can we stop him? He throws it backwards, and that is Tory Holt getting stopped by, I don't know who that was, I think that might have been Brady. A very weird play right there, that was just a reverse pass. And that's a pick off! Dante Culpepper, I saw that rocket arm power up coming in, and I put myself in a good position. User pick from Dante Culpepper, that's what's up. Although we are backed up towards our own end zone, gonna swing this one out. Michael Vick, that was probably a backwards pass, a gain of about eight right there. All right, let's see this out route cheese. Jocinda can't cover Dante Culpepper. This is going to be a big gain out to almost the 30. Oh, this is a horrible defensive position. Donovan drops the wide open pass. Oh, that would have been six points. Are you kidding me? The drops, man. The drops with the CPU controlled user players. Oh, it's just awful. Come on, man. All right, we got to scramble with Peyton Manning. We got to scramble with Peyton Manning. Get out of the way, Donovan. Get out of the way. Give me a block. Peyton Manning getting about nine yards. Let's try another handoff to Michael Vick. Oh, there's just no run blocking. Well, we get the first down, and that's good. But, geez, sometimes running just does not work in this game. This really is a pass superiority game for sure. Another run. Block for me, Peyton. Block for me, Peyton. You're supposed to block him. Peyton was in perfect position to block Dante and just did not do anything. 
Tori is blissing off the edge. Oh, that's a great bat down by Tori Holt. Wow. Great defense. I had Vic open in the flats. All right, Donovan. Do not drop this. There we go. Donovan McNabb. Keisha Phillips trying to track him down. We're going to use the sprint right here. And Donovan McNabb is going to be in the end zone for the second touchdown of the game. Had to use a bit of the cheesy sprint right there. That is through the uprights. 14 to nothing with a minute 25 left in the half. This is a good lead we're building here. Got to use it wherever Luann's going. Throws it on the flats, and that's a horrible drop. Wow, Luann has dropped a few passes already, and she has really gotten in her own way to start off. She has made very little impact on this game. And she catches that one, but Tom Brady is on her instantly. Wow, just a very short gain right there. Our defense has been surprisingly good so far. Got to use her on Luann again. And that is Donovan McNabb with the tip pass, and he dives and gets it. Wow, what a great interception right there from Donovan McNabb. We got to watch this one back. Dante had all sorts of time, but threw it. Donovan McNabb tips it, gets the interception. Nice job on defense. And just like that, we got the ball back. Going to swing it out to Michael Vick. Cut it up inside. Breaks a tackle, and that's going to be a first down reception for Vick. Nice run. Hand off to Vick. Got a little bit more space. Breaks one tackle. Pete Wheeler's got to chase him down, but Vic, can he get into the end zone? He will. Rushing touchdown from Michael Vic. There we go. Pete Wheeler could not track him down even with his speed. And just like that, we are up with three scores. The Jets can't do anything to stop the quarterbacks. All right, the Jets have 35 seconds to make something of this half. Luan breaks off one tackle, breaks another tackle. Luan is going crazy. Only gets a gain of about six, but wow. Very impressive run from her. Luann out to the left. Dante Robinson has all sorts of time. He's going to lob one out. And Jocinda has all sorts of space. Can Tony track her down? Tony is sprinting after her. He dives and tracks her down. But that is a big gain. However, the clock is ticking. Do they have time to set up for a field goal? And they do. Annie Frazier setting up to kick this one. Not that long of a field goal. It is through the uprights as time expires. Well, actually, time didn't expire. We have one second left. Can we do anything? Kickoff return touchdowns are super hard in this game. Very difficult to pull off. Usually need to pull off at least one sort of power up that really goes your way. But let's try it. Let's try it with Michael Vick. Well, that's not the one I want to use. We use the high jump. Oh, do we have enough? We don't have enough juice left. Oh, no. We might have just wasted all of our power-ups. Michael Vick, he's going to get close. That was actually one of the best returns I've ever had. But, uh, you know, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. That was a good half for the quarterbacks. The passing Pirates, though, 21-3. to However, we are kicking off. And we have no juice left. So maybe not worth going for it on that kickoff return touchdown. But still a pretty fun time. We got much further than I usually do. That's for sure. Dante on the return. Gets it only out to about the 20. Good coverage on the kickoffs for us. Dante, all sorts of time. He's getting great time. Brady and Manning got to him, but still threw out to Torrey Holt. Only about a gain of eight. This is going to be a run. This is going to be a run. You start to recognize these plays. Dante with a big, big sack on Dante. Dante on Dante. That's going to be a third and 11. A loss of nine yards. Very costly play right there. Oh, Tom Brady with the pressure, but a broken sack. Matt Hasselbeck has to track him down, and that is a fourth down for the Jets. Are they going to go for it? They are not. They're just going to punt it away. Fourth and seven. Our defense has been locked down so far. Quarterback's putting the clamps on him. Matt Hasselbeck. I'm just going to go out of bounds with this. I don't want Matt Hasselbeck fumbling this. All right. Not a horrible job on punt returns so far for Hasselbeck, but not worth it. The CPU is very cheesy with the forced fumbles, let me tell you. They're blitzing hard. Oh, Donovan McNabb. One-on-one -on -one with Jocinda. He forces the fumble, though, and Luan picks that up. Oh, man, we nearly had an interception turned into a forced fumble, fumble recovery. I tell you, man, this game is really cheesy. Unless a player is butt naked wide open, you do not throw it to him. Not at all. The... CPU is so cheesy with their interceptions. Right, we're blitzing with Dante Culpepper. Dante Robinson evades, but that's Brady tracking him down. Actually, that's Peyton Manning. They look very similar. 
Ooh. Dante Culpepper nearly got that one. Luann using the monster time power up. Can we track her down? We do, but that is a big game. One of the biggest plays of the game for the Jets. This could be a direct snap. It won't be recovering Luann with Dante, though, for sure. That is going to be a throw from Dante Robinson. All right, we tracked down Tori Holt, but that's going to be a first down. Jets are finally moving the ball. Will this be a run? I can see these plays before they happen. Dante Culpepper stopping it right in his tracks. There we go. Is this going to be another one? Don't run the same play again. Ooh, they got me. They got me. On the corner route. Wow. One-on-one. -on -one. Torrey Holt catches it over Tony Delvecchio. I thought I had a chance at that one, but that was a great catch and an even better throw from Dante. I thought I had a chance at that one. Usually I can pick those off, but that was a great route, great ball from Dante. We gotta be smart with our play calling here. We can't let him back in the game. All right, we have tons of space. Oh, missed block by Donovan McNabb. He should have blocked Dante. We can still get a lot of yards here, but could have gone for a lot more than just seven yards. All right, I'm looking for Donovan on the short out. First down, good play. All right, where are we going here? Oh, Dante Culpepper is wide open. Teardrop pass. That's going to get us down to the 20. Nice play. As soon as he cleared it on that post, I knew he was going to be open. That was a cool double tight end look we had to run in there. Michael Vick changing direction, breaking a tackle. Uh, only going to get about three or four. All right, can we get the out route? She's, uh, no, I think it's covered. Oh, man, who do I throw this up to? Do I just go for it? It's going to be out of bounds. All right. I, you know, usually I don't like to go for field goals, but I'm just going to say we're going to go for it. Let's see if Tom Brady has the leg to kick this one through. And he does. All right. We're up 24 to 10. Watching the direct snap. They don't get it. We got Dante on Luan. Oh, he's going to throw it up to her. Can we get this? Dante Culpepper with his second interception of the game. I saw that one coming. Let's go. Only 40 yards to go to another score. Let's get it moving. Let's pile it on. Oh, Dante Culpepper on the post. Oh, man. That could have been six points, but just send it with the good coverage. Toss things out to Michael Vick. Another missed block. Donovan McNabb should be blocking Dante Robinson. This is still going to be a first down for Vick, though. Nice run. Looking for Vick here. Dante's covering him, but still a good gain of about nine. Ooh, nobody's open. Keisha's coming in. Oh, we got enough of a speed boost to evade with Peyton Manning. Can we try the wiggle sticks? <laughs> Couldn't juke him out, but we got a first down. All right, good. Still alive. Oh, McNabb is not covered. Please catch us in bounds. All right, all right. Catch in bounds about eight yards. There's stuff in the box. Change of direction from Vic. Good enough for a first down. We're running down the clock. Good, slow, methodical drive here. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, oh, I thought... I thought Michael Vick was going to keep running. I don't know what he was doing. I thought he was going to keep running across and clear the coverage. That was going to be an easy touchdown, but he just ran back towards me for some reason. I don't know what type of play design that was. Uh, all right. Going to go for it. Going to go for it. Peyton Manning. We need a Peyton Manning rushing touchdown, guys. We need one. We're going to try and go for it here. Peyton Manning into the end zone. Rushing touchdown. Let's go. We are back up by three scores. Got a little bit of extra security. The Jets have their work cut out for them. Only a minute 28 left. Dante Culpepper coming in fast. Did not have enough time. Man, that was a good sack. All right, recovering Jocinda. And that is Tom Brady. No, that's my, that's Matt Hasselbeck. <laughs> they, they all look the same. Peyton Manning and Tom Brady and Matt Hasselbeck all look the same. Matt Hasselbeck on the QB sack right there. Good stuff. Dante coming in again. Oh, and Torrey Holt dropped the rocket pass power up. Oh, man. Devastating for the Jets. Are they going to go for it here? No, they're not. They are giving up. Oh, we're going to go back with Dante Culpepper then. Surprised that the Jets are giving up. The quarterback team, too powerful for them. And this is going to be a victory for the passing Pyres. We get some blocks. No blocks. Oh, change of direction. Come on, Dante. Let's go. Getting chased on by Dante. Can we return this? Can we get a punt return touchdown with Dante Culpepper? Let's go. Diving in the end zone. There we go. 
Dante Culpepper's had himself a game. He's got a receiving touchdown, a punt return touchdown, two interceptions. He's the player of the game so far, to be honest. Well, we didn't get the kick return touchdown with the power-up uses, but we did get the punt return touchdown. That's pretty cool. Tom Brady covering Luann. <laughs> It'll be a first down pass. I don't think the Jets have any more life, though. They might score one more time, but this game is long over. Quarterbacks dominating the Jets. With a pretty impressive roster of backyard kids, and they also have Torrey Holt, too. Like, this is not a bad team we're playing against. That's Hasselbeck. No, that is, uh, that's Peyton Manning. No, that's Brady. I keep getting confused. <laughs> the three white quarterbacks look identical to each other when they're playing on the line. I just can't tell who's who. That's going to be Tom Brady, though. I can see the number 12. And we've sacked Dante Robinson quite a few times. This defensive line is pretty fierce, I'm not going to lie. This defensive line of Manning, Brady, and Hasselbeck, surprisingly good. Another first down catch for Torrey Holt, but this game is over, man. And they're going to QB draw to end it, but Dante Culpepper is right there to shut it down. 38-10 to victory for the passing Pirates, the all-quarterback team. Y'all, what would you think of this game? Do you expect us to be that dominant on both offense and defense? I'm surprised with how good the defense was and the special teams, too. That was a complete game from us. 38-10 victory. Let's look at these stats really quick. Only two turnovers. It's very easy to get turnovers in this game. 214 passing yards. 214 passing yards. 91 rushing yards. Only 305 total yards, which is... Not that high for this game, but we had a slow, methodical play style that worked perfectly, smothered the Jets' defense. Only two total rushing yards, all those sacks that we got totally shut him down. Three turnovers as well. We got a plus one in the turnovers category. So all in all, a very complete game. So what'd you guys think of that? I thought that was a pretty fun little uh, one-off video that we got here. I'm planning on doing other videos with other positions, all running backs, all wide receivers, maybe even an all defense video. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time.